what is good everybody and welcome back to the channel i'm here with my man hasselhoff once again you guys seem to like him in a couple of the past videos this is gonna be the first video where we don't title it multi-millionaire we're gonna try to take it a little bit different today but what we got going on today is we're gonna see between which of us who can find the most expensive sneaker but get it at the cheapest price which aka means value so. yeah because i think I, I can find the most expensive sneaker that's that's easy i don't know about you getting a value from designers so we're actually going to be taking it in in a couple different ways now it doesn't have to be any specific type of shoe it doesn't have to be designer it could be a sneaker oh, it no it could be anything so we're going to see Whatever the shoe is worth or what the retail price is, what price you pay, how much you got off is going to be the person who does the best. So we're going to split ways today. We're going to try to see who can come up with the best place to go to and then find a shoe and get the best value of their shoe. What are the rules? I feel like you could cheat at this. <laughs> the rules are you can't get a free shoe and then be like, oh, I saved this much. But there are things such as like the retail price of a shoe if you find it on sale or, you know, stuff like that. So like if you go to a sneaker store like uh, that we typically go to, let's All say right. a Heat 18. TL, right and there's a shoe there and you can bargain your way to get it for a cheaper price than it actually goes for oh that value so then saving. market price not just retail yes right so okay. essentially if there's a shoe for twenty five hundred dollars at a resale sneaker store and i can talk them down to a thousand dollars which that's not gonna happen i would go ahead and i'd be fifteen hundred dollars ahead and so same thing works for you know retail and all that so we're gonna have to go ahead go back and forth see who can come with the best thing we're gonna convene at the end of it and see who did the best are we gonna see who has the biggest win on one shoe or multiple shoes or what i said we can go for one shoe one we don't shoe. have to be spending right. a lot so he's going to be probably taking the rolls out today if you guys haven't seen that before i'm going to be taking the aston i would have taken out the maserati because i thought it was gonna be nice today it's gonna be hot but it's pretty overcast with clouds so yeah so i'm gonna be in the I aston have to take the rolls <laughs> yeah uh, unfortunately <laughs> but uh i'm gonna talk with you guys about where i'm thinking about going and then he's gonna go on his vlog camera do the same and then we'll see who does better so we'll check in with you guys here in a second all right guys so for this challenge the winner gets to keep the other person's shoes so we just came up with that rule so if i win any shoe that he bought i get to keep and the ones that i bought obviously i get to keep so is that fair i'm good with this because i'm pretty sure i'm gonna win uh, hoss is very competitive so we're <laughs> gonna see what happens if you guys don't know the R8 is over here, but it's because we're waiting for the paint to cure. But they're coming in like three days to finish it off, so I'm excited, thankfully. But we're taking the Aston. We're about to start the challenge. Harrison is about to leave to go wherever he's going. I don't actually know where he's going. He wouldn't tell me. I tried to get inside information, and he refused to tell me. Go. Good luck. Do you know where you're going? No. Do you? you? You you always know where you're going. I know where I'm going for the most part. He plans everything out. Yeah. I'm more like, let's just wing it. Let's just say I'm gonna drive around, see what road <laughs> inspires me. You're gonna land at some sort of mall <laughs> that I've never heard of. Yeah. About to leave. I really, I wasn't lying. I really have no idea what I'm doing or where I'm going. All I know is that I can get a good value. You guys know that. I'm thinking that I could probably, probably go to a retail store and see what kind of discount I can get off that. But this is a kind of a different situation. Because Harrison knows everybody, pretty much everywhere, who sells shoes in Atlanta, I think I'm a little bit disadvantaged. However, I will do my best to find a spot where either someone, one, doesn't know him, or two, likes me better. All right, guys, so here is my plan. My plan is to, one, go to two retail designer type stores and then one actual sneaker store. So the first place I'm gonna go to is Saks off Fifth Avenue because they have a lot of designer shoes there that go for up to 80% off. So I think if I could find a thousand dollar shoe for like 200 bucks, I could do good. But I'm gonna go there first and check it out because I don't have to negotiate anything. It's really just seeing what they have. And then I'm gonna go to an actual sneaker store and see if I can finesse some sort of deal on it. Now, what do I mean by that? I might try to see if I can negotiate a price off of a shoe for like an Instagram story post or something. So maybe like 500 bucks off of the shoe if I can go ahead and shout them out on, you know, Instagram or something. So we'll see. They might say no, but we're gonna try anyway. So Harrison is right in front of me. And I know which way he's going. I could just follow him, but that's actually where I was gonna go anyway. Oh shoot, I'm gonna miss the turn, I won't see him. I guess I'm gonna know if I see the Aston at a store, I'll know if he's there. If he sees the orange Rolls Royce, he'll know I'm at that store. So it might just be a matter of who gets where first. He's still right in front of me. Looks like we're going to the same place or area so far. We'll see. All right, made it over to Saks off Fifth Avenue. Seems pretty busy here, so we're gonna go in and see what we can get. 
All right, we're walking into off Saks Fifth Avenue right now, and I'm basically gonna go ahead and try to gauge where the prices are at so I know. Now, they don't have like hype stuff here. I've seen a few brands before where they've got like Ferragamo, maybe Balenciaga. So we're gonna go ahead and search around. Now, after looking, I did find these Balenciaga sneakers that retail at about $900, and they're going for about $330. So I think it's about, I'll have to review the footage and make sure, I think it's about $550. Then I searched around a little more and found out that on the tables where the best deals are, then I found a pair of Giuseppe shoes that are like some pop art type sneaker that were 1100 originally down to like 330 So that's about $700. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to do better than that, but I'm going to keep searching around. It went from raining to sunny real quick, but I'm heading out now with no shoes because I got an idea of what they have in there and I want to go ahead and compare at the other places before I commit to buying. But I think I got a real good one there, about $800 off. So I think that might be a good, I don't know if I can do that anywhere else. So I was just looking at a place I wanted to go, Neiman Marcus, last call. And turns out the one near me here is closed. The nearest one is a long way away. I mean, that's, uh, let's see, that's 30 minutes away. Here goes my first idea. So I just passed Harrison. He took a left, I went straight. We might still be going to the same place. I thought about just trolling him and following him the whole way. If I just find out where he is and then go to the store and ask them to just give me a slightly better deal, then what they gave him, I could win. I mean, that's not really the spirit of the challenge, but I win the challenge. What's more important? So I'm here at the mall. I think I'm gonna give this a shot. I, I don't have a lot of faith that this will work. So it's definitely rainy and gross. I'm just parking here at the mall, probably in good company because there's a black badge Dawn here right next to me. But I'm gonna go in here and see what I can get. Wondering if you have any good sales or something like that on maybe some designer stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm here in the mall and I think I found a pair of shoes that I would buy and it might be 40% off. I don't know. Let's do that one then. Yeah. Let's do that one. So I just bought a pair of off-whites. I don't know if it's gonna count. They didn't have them in the store, but I bought them, so. Might be a technicality, but I got 40% off. I think that's okay. Plus, I liked them and they're orange. So I can't lose. To see if this is legit. Let me see if it's about percentage or dollars. Let me FaceTime Harrison. Hey, what up? Got a question for you. Is it based on percentage or straight up dollars? That's what I was kind of trying to figure out too. I think percentage makes more sense, right? I agree with you. That's all the clarification I needed. You good? <laughs> all right, later. Back out to the parking lot, my friend with the Black Badge Don is not here, but somebody with an Urus stopped by. It's Buckhead. All right, so the next place up I'm thinking is going to be Hype, but I'm not sure. There also is a place called RCR Atlanta that has some designer, but I don't know if I'm gonna be 700 off. I'm gonna have to go through the Instagram real quick. So these off-white sneakers right here that I found on their website retail at around 695, I believe, and they're at 350, which is not bad, and they're better of a sneaker. Those other ones in there aren't really sneakers, so that might be a good option, but I'm gonna keep looking. So I also just found this Gucci green velvet sneaker that's $350. Now that's about the same as the last. I think the retail is very similar. Those might be a higher retail. So we're looking good there of like 350. 50 bucks now i'm gonna have to keep looking because they have a lot of christian louboutins and they're considered sneakers but kind of want to go for like a sneaker sneaker and that off-white one is pretty good so that might be an option but i'm gonna keep looking and maybe contact one of the sneaker stores right now So 
this store is kind of like my little hidden gem where I always come here if I need to find like a crazy deal on like some sort of sneaker and designer because they always get like loadouts from like rappers in the area whose personal stylists just load off a bunch of stuff on consignment. So I just finished up and I'm going to hit up Haas now and see where he's at because I think I'm doing better than him at this point from what he said last time. But if you saw 217 is what I ended up paying. So I don't know if he could beat that for what I got. I have to look up the retails though. So I got a banger back there. They originally had it listed at 499, no 399. And I got it for half of that price. And we're gonna have to see percentage lines up against Haas. So I'm gonna get my figures. I'm gonna call him now and see uh, what he's doing and, and see what's up. What up? How you doing? I think you're gonna beat me on this one. <laughs> Have faith, I'm gonna help you. Have faith. <laughs> Mine's been terrible. <laughs> I'm gonna put mine in the back of the car so he can't see it. And uh, then we're gonna head in for lunch real quick so I can give him some guidance. I, one pair, but I think you're gonna crush me on it. All right guys, so we just finished up at lunch. Now he's going to other stores. I'm done. I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna get some shorts. I might jump in his pool cause it's like it's hot out now, but he's gonna go. You, how many places you got left? I still got work to do. I think I need to go to at least one, maybe two places because I'm sensing that my first purchase was not good enough. We're gonna cut to him, he's going to his next store and then uh, we'll come back together at his place and show you guys what we got. I wanted to hop in here very quickly to remind you guys that this is the last chance to enter the Chunky Dunky giveaway. We're giving away this size eight right here, completely free. We're also giving away $1,000 in stadium goods credit over on my Instagram. I'm gonna link both of those down below. You guys know the rules, you have to subscribe to the channel, you have to follow me on Instagram and then go comment on those posts, but don't miss out on chance because these are going for like 1,500 bucks now. So I'm here about to walk into Saxon Fifth, it's my Pretty much last chance to win this challenge. I don't think I'm gonna win it, which pisses me off. I don't like losing. So hopefully they can help me out. At least that's where I'm going. Let's start with my own size. I wonder if there's a bigger discount on women's stuff. Ooh, clearance, let's see. All right, I found the men's clearance section. It goes that way. The women's was going that way, so. 63%, Tommy Bahama. 61, these are pretty deep, but not deep enough. 63%, 70, ooh, 76. These uh, Madison supplies are now 76. I won't need those at 75. Let's keep looking. This is now the current winner. Not finding anything better than the 75, 76% off there. If I can, if you can take the money that I would pay for this, and just put it on that item, which I will buy. Same amount of money, but I just want to pay less for this one. You can't do it? No. <laughs> <sighs> but I know you want this one. So I just got a cool Versace orange jacket that I obviously did not need, but it was awesome. Another pair of shoes that was 76% off, which I think is pretty good. We're trying to go up there to, uh, Nordstrom Rack, which he suggested, and see if I can maybe get a better deal. But I came up here to go to the Nordstrom Rack, but there's a line. I'm not sure I'm all about that. <sighs> I sent another note to a friend to see if I could maybe buy from him. Harrison said it didn't have to be a store. We'll have to see if someone's willing to take that big L. Okay, so I just got a text just in time. He just got home that uh, a buddy is gonna sell me a pair of shoes that are about $200 retail for $20. <laughs> That's 90%. So I think, I think that should work, don't you? So I'm here to meet Blake and uh, see if he can get me a shoe and sell me one. There's some construction going on there. If he can sell me a shoe that's going to be even more discounted than what Harrison might have gotten. And it's even better that he, that I know he got a used shoe because that's what I'm doing. Let's see if I can win this. There's no way he's gonna beat like 90%. There's, there can't be. So we're here with Blake. What's up guys? Mr. Blake Yarbrough. If you don't know his channel. Just my name, Blake Yarbrough. I do sneaker unboxing, sneaker reviews. Been collecting sneakers now for like 10 or 12 years. And so I started my YouTube channel about a year and a half ago. Um, and it's going pretty well. So I appreciate Blake here because I think he's gonna be the one to help me win this challenge. Yeah. Hey, Griffy. Meow. <laughs> Meow. 
Say what's up. Meow. I will sell you these for five dollars. No, because they're Harrison's. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that would be funny. Yeah, that's right. He did. Uh, yeah, yeah, there it is. There's just every I have been looking through my sneakers to see what I could sell you. This is a good selection. And we've got some that are very expensive that I could sell you for a great value, um, like these. Those right Travis now. Scotts. Travis Scott. Yeah, I recognize this Travis Scott Jordan. I Ryan. paid $175 for these. That's it? Yeah, I got it for retail. What are they going for? I think they're up to like $1,300. Or like these, I paid $1,600 for these. Oh my God. And now they're four grand. What? Yeah. Why? What are those? It's the Marjard 2.0. We've got some different options, but I think this is going to be the best one. It's called the Air Footscape. And this shoe right here, not a lot of people know a lot about these. They're pretty old Nike sneaker. Um, and I've had these now for probably a couple years. They are a little bit worn, uh -huh. um, but I don't think that's part of your description, nope. part of nope. your rules. That's fine. That's so fine. I don't remember what I paid for these, honestly, but I did look on StockX for you and they're yep. going for around 200 to $250 for a dead stock pair. Um, and I will sell you these for a whopping What's $20. Yes! <laughs> so We gotta beat Harrison, we gotta beat Harrison. Thank you, sir. There you go. Free, Thank you. Free dinner tonight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm guessing uh, no box? Uh, yeah. I only <laughs> keep the boxes to like the really exclusive sneakers, so. I'm gonna get out of here and All get right. back home. All right, see you, man. All right, thanks. So, I just got home. It's gotta be a winner. I hope so. I'm feeling much better now about it than I was before. So, I'm here in one of my storage closets. I think I'll be able to put them in this this box. I don't have a receipt, but it looks like I bought those. All right, guys, I just made it back to Haas's place. I think he's home, I'm not sure. His garage door isn't open, but we're gonna go ahead and see who did best. Now he's saying he has three pairs of shoes. I have one, so we're gonna see how it goes. I'm gonna grab my pair out right now. I'm interested to see what he did. All right, guys, we're back. Hoss is grabbing all of his things, and I assume it's more than one. I've got my bag right here, my gem, and uh, we're gonna see how, how he did. Oh, man. I saw a Jordan 1 box. <laughs> Where did my guy visit? Hmm, do I recognize that tag? He's got a couple of these. Right. I saw that jacket. Did you? Yeah, that was right next to the Balenciagas. Yeah? At Saks Fifth, yeah. Yeah, you went there? Yup, I didn't buy anything there, though, so we're good. Yeah, I, I bought, well, obviously, only you and I pretty much in Atlanta would buy this. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Anyway, I got distracted. So who's gonna go first, you are? Uh, you can go first with the, right, let me, your least one here. Scoot a little closer. So the first one, there's a bit of an issue. This, this it should still count. This is my purchase of the first one. So I, I found this really cool pair of orange off-whites, and I was like, I want these anyway. Turns out they had the wrong size. So they didn't have my size. I bought them anyway. Wow. This is the shoe. Those are clean. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I think it's pretty cool. Um, I think I think they're a great shoe. I think I'm, I'm gonna be happy with it either way. Or we can resell them. So the, the, the retail price, 634. Right. And I picked it up for 443. So that was my first one. 40%. 40%. Do so you want me to go next? You only have one. See, Here's my second supply. one. I'd never heard of this brand of yours. <laughs> no, no, me neither. Actually, I might have. So they're camo. They're sneakers. Yeah, they're definitely sneakers. They're camo uh, web is what they call it. No, they're they're an interesting sneaker. They're they're not they're not the worst. They're not hype. We didn't have to be hype though. No, we didn't have to. And you know, they, they, they were not crazy expensive. Obviously, I was just looking at the percentage savings. What's also helpful about Saks, which I guess you knew is that they mark the percentage savings. So if they're clearance, they do. Yeah. So these were clearance, obviously. Wow. And 76%. <laughs> That's pretty. I thought these were pretty strong. That's right? pretty strong. I paid uh, 82.99, and I think the market price was 348. Is that what it says? 348. 348. Yeah. 348. So. That's strong. I thought it was pretty solid. I like sneaker number one better, but that's. I do me. too. I saw another shoe that I liked. It, it was similar to this. It was a Roberto Cavalli, which looked awesome. So it's something that I've bought in the past, and I thought it was a dope shoe. Unfortunately, it was only 66% safe. So uh, I did not buy them. But which is still 80, solid. 87% on Versace, though, I couldn't help myself. Would you wear these? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. If I don't win, I'm going to return it. But if I win, uh, you know, we got to keep 76% is going to be I'm hard. done for now. For I want to see yeah. yours. And then I've got one more. Well, you got a Jordan 1. So I'm curious how much you could really get off of a Jordan well, 1. Well, tell me this. Tell me this right now. Did you beat 76? Let's. Let's. Ah! <laughs> All right. So. This is my hidden gem of the city, but I picked a shoe that I actually liked. I could have gotten something a little bit better and probably done better percentage-wise. Our consignment, they're based- when you, when you say hidden gem, 
You mean you cheated? No, this is a- You mean he called them up and said, hey, no. I need to win this challenge. No, I, I, sw I did not. So I went on, <laughs> I've been to this place before. It is basically a consignment designer store. And so basically a lot of rappers, stylists unload their purchases from like uh, music video shoots or something like that, like worn once, whatever. Uh -huh. So they usually offer a good deal. So this one- So you'd wear this one is what you're telling me. Yes, it might be a little bit small, but this one I paid $217. For? A pair of- off-white sneakers. Oh shit. any off-white sneakers. This is off-white main bucks. line. Pull these out right here. I gotta find the exact retail. Oh wait, this is more than I thought it was. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> this is retail. By the way, if you guys didn't see the last video, Harrison is notoriously bad at math. He's like 65, <laughs> it's like 75 dollars. Good thing Harrison is bad, or, or bad thing that you're bad yeah, at math. Bad. So I thought the retail I'll check it. I'll was check. 300 less than what it is, but all right, let's go ahead. We're gonna pull this off. You guys know this is the off-white main line. We're gonna pull these out. Ooh, I've had a pair of these before. We have a pair of off-white high top sneakers. If you guys haven't seen these, I really like the way that these fit. Wearing with a nice pair of skinny jeans. Now he's just worried about the price. I'm gonna pull up the shoe even more though. Also, they're ugly as f Dude, I like these. <laughs> so, this yeah. side is better than that so, side. Yes. I don't like that side. If you can't see, you got the white laces. It comes with a bunch of different extra laces right here. They also forgot to take off the nylon. No, that's how that's how it comes. <laughs> you get the plastic bag, you got all the extra laces. Now, oh, I you got everything too. Yeah, I didn't realize the, box. the retail price. Let me show you before I tell Haas. I'm gonna put it up on the screen real quick. If you guys can't see that there. I'm gonna I'm, lose our I'm ready for Haas to do the math. All right, retail price, $945. It's pretty good. 217 after tax, 720. What was the retail price? 945. Is a 77. Oh my god! <laughs> that was 76. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, that's honestly that's really impressive. I thought the retail was 681. And you got off white. Yeah. And you got a shoe you wanted. 681 is what I thought wow. the retail was, but well, I I knew I knew this is gonna be really tough. Woo. First of all, buying shoes against Harrison Neville. I mean, like, if we were gonna go buy Rolls Royce, I might win that. He probably would. But, I'm not a good uh, negotiator there. I mean, and there wasn't a whole lot I could negotiate. These retail stores, some of them don't want to negotiate. Some of them do, but they weren't really willing to go past 80%. <laughs> yeah. So that was tougher. However, I made a few calls. I sent a few texts. I got one person to respond. Got home just in time for me to buy a shoe from. Buy him. a shoe from him. I bought a shoe from. Him. There was no rules. There was no rule. I, I thought about it. I thought back. And I was like, you know, you said buy a shoe. Didn't have to be brand new. Didn't have to be from a store. You just said buy a shoe was the biggest value, right? So what Harrison saw earlier Ooh, in wait. this Jordan 1 box. I don't think you have any idea what this is. Saw the, because I used, this is the Jordan 1 box. Oh, yeah. We bought shoes. Yeah, <laughs> Neutral gray. I put them in this. It didn't come with a box. Okay, so that's one up for me. Yeah, didn't come with a box, but that wasn't part of the rule. It wasn't. I'm going to tell you first the numbers, and then I'll show you the shoe. The, re, the, the current market price for this shoe is approximately $210 to $250. I bought it for $20. What? Okay. So oh. depending on where you are, I'm at 90%. Okay. Let's, for let's a, see. a U shoe. Let's see. It's just not as hyped. <laughs> <laughs> Voila! Are you sure that these go for 200 bucks? You know what? Pull it up right now. Pull I it up actually, right now. I, Pull it up right now. Oh my, I've seen these before. You Who did you get these, these from? You have seen these before. Who did you get these from? They've, they've been out for a while. They have. They're an old shoe that. Our, our friend Blake. Help me out. Oh my, Blake snaked me. <laughs> Just so I didn't have to lose. Dang. Thank you, Blake. Shout out Blake, but nah. <laughs> well, I guess, well now you get these, but you hate them, so. I'll sell them to you. <laughs> It's a double sell on I'll sell it to you. I'll sell it to you for a small fee. But uh, yeah, so now, obviously, as as part of the, the challenge, I get both pairs. Well, I bought those other off whites. I'm going to keep anyway. Yeah, I was going to say. That would be sick if I got those, though. For free. That would have been kind of sick. I but. might return these hideous. Yeah, part I, I say Madison. he should return them because he's not going to wear those. <laughs> no. He did his best by going three ways, though. And this is the finesse. Well, if you want to fit an 11, don't worry. I, I may have I'm a shoe give for these you. back to Blake. <laughs> Charge him 20 bucks to take him back. <laughs> Shout out Blake Yarbrough. Appreciate the help, man. What an L. Well, that was a pretty good challenge. And I want to let you guys know if you didn't see, if I didn't say before, we have a podcast. Me, Haas, and Steve just got here a few minutes ago, and we just released the first episode. We're about to film episode two. So the check, check the podcast out. We have a lot of fun while we're doing it. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like down below. I'll see you guys next time. This is Harrison signing out.